So I'm really excited. Today I'm filming a podcast with Sam Bashiri. He's an entrepreneur from Melbourne, Australia, and he has a lot to share. And we're just going to be talking about real honest business advice and life advice as well. And we hope you tune in. There's going to be a lot of great content being shared in the podcast. Hello and welcome to my podcast going from thousands to millions. I'm really, really excited to have the boys here from e-commerce mentor. Gentlemen, hello. Hi. Hey man, Sam. It's it's a pleasure to be here. We're, we're huge fans, man. So tell me, how did you guys get into it? Because, you know, e-commerce mentor, you have over a million followers, right? That's fucking phenomenal, man. It's absolutely phenomenal. And I know for you guys, maybe it's not because it's normal, but from someone looking from outside, it's phenomenal, right? And I want to know, how did you get into it? What did you guys do before and how did you get into it and what made you do what you do today? Sure, sure, yeah. So... So it, it started before that. It started with Simply Shredded, actually. Um, okay. Simply Shredded is a fitness brand. We started it back in 2009 when I was 18. Um, and back then, it started really small. Like, back then, there, wasn't, there was no Instagram. We started on Facebook. And what happened is we grew our Facebook fan page. Like, because back then, Facebook was big, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, we grew up on, so- on social media, you know? starting with my, with my space msn and stuff and so we started to grow this the simply shorter page it we started a hundred followers then it turned into one thousand and ten thousand then we hit a hundred thousand this was back in 2010 and we just started yeah. trying to like explore the internet and uh. started with like a couple articles that took off um like a ziz Yes, yes, I, do you know who this is? Have no, you asked? I, no, I, I, no, 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 man. No? Right. Tell me, who's that? I, some, I passed away. Oh, God like, bless. Rest in peace. But um, yeah. he was a big Sydney icon, like his fitness guy. Okay. He's like a party animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, like a damn like, Brazilian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so there you go. He was like Dan Bilzerian. But from a nerd to Dan Bilzerian. Oh, no way. Wow. Like he played games and like he was very relatable. Yeah, he was relatable, yeah. So he was a geek that turned into like this... Yeah, six foot jacked guy that everyone wow. in Sydney and Melbourne New. and Australia they all loved him and wow. he used to go to raves and dance and stuff. Oh wow! He started like a movement, like go yeah. and keep behind him. <laughs> he got featured on the site that helped the site get a bit more exposure. Yeah. Um, and just like everything snowboards got bigger and bigger and bigger. But then like <laughs> that's all we did. We just trained the gym, you know, because like, I can relate to that. Yeah. We grew up broke, and yeah. like the gym was like an yeah outlet. Yeah. yeah, it was like a good place to meet friends and work out. And the feeling of the pump, honestly, like, yeah, you know like what the, I mean? Like the Arnold, the Arnold quote. It's true, bro. It is yeah. so true. <laughs> so you, that's something that you love. You knew about technology. You brought the two together. Yeah. And you did it because you were passionate. You didn't yeah. do it to make money. It's like, oh, well, let's explore this world. Yeah, let's see what that's what's out there. It's what, something that we're passionate about. Let's write about it. Yeah. And then it just popped. Yeah, 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 man, of course. Like, the first target was just to make 800 bucks a month. Like, because that was enough to... <laughs> Why 800? Oh, like, because that was enough to pay for my gym supplements. I love and that. We used that to buy was... protein powder. Yeah, I love like, that. The creatine. It was like, it was like, that was expensive, yeah, man. It was like $100 like, a bag. Like, yeah, it was like expensive. 100 bucks a bag. Like, like and we didn't... Like, I love that. You know? So, it was about, okay, so I've got a hobby. I've got to pay for my hobby. Yeah, yeah. So, let's do something that I'm passionate about and... Get some cash flow and use that to pay for my hobby. Yeah, man, of course, of course. See, see, like back then, we didn't believe in ourselves. We didn't think we could turn it into a business. No. Like we never had someone to tell us you could achieve big yeah. things if you work hard. Like, no. like as in uh, yeah. mental. And, yeah. Th- like that's the try. And, that's the type of message we're trying to push now. Like that you can achieve anything. What like your your great example. Like how you were telling us the story in the other room. Yeah. That was phenomenal, man. Thanks, like, man. But like you know, you know I, I'm a true believer of that, bro. Like, I think we are so afraid of believing ourselves. And if you don't believe in yourself, how's anyone else going to believe in you? Yeah. Right. It all starts from you, right? And I think, like, in life, you got to give it a go. Like, yeah, yeah. What's the worst thing that can happen? It doesn't mm. work out. Fail. Yeah. Who cares? You know, you're not going to die. No one's going to shoot you for it, right? Yeah. It just didn't work out. And you learn from that failure and use it to motivate you to do the next thing, right? Yeah. And But, like, that's the thing that a lot of, unfortunately, I think, like, maybe it's because we just have it too good here. Yeah, yeah of course. You know, course, you know yeah. a, lot of, a lot of things happen from poverty. And, like, you know, um, I, I, I'm a big believer that, you know, Things happen for a reason, um, and you know everybody unfortunately has their you know goods and bads, and sometimes 
life plays you a bad card and you go through a lot of uh, things that no one should go through. But you could take that and use that as fuel to say, you know what, never again. I'm going to use this as fuel and I'm going to change my life. I'm going to change the cycle for myself and for my kids, right? And I think that's the thing that maybe we don't have enough of. But at the same time, I think the culture is changing. There's a lot of entrepreneurs that actually want to do that. Like I get, you know, you guys will get so many messages, right? Yeah. From young kids saying, hey, I look up to you guys, what you guys have done. How can I do it? And how does that make you feel? It must feel amazing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because we never thought we were special enough to have an impact on people. Like, because we grew up pretty average. Like, yeah. we grew up, like, playing Counter-Strike and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like computer games. Like, yeah. and my dad wanted me to go to school. He never told me I could be an entrepreneur. So I believed I was just that person who could go to school and do that, you know. But um, I'm really interested as well, like, to hear how you grew up in, like, you know, you said you were in a detention center. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because that would, like, teach you a lot of lessons about life and, like... Yeah, look, man, like, for us, like, you know, we, so we, uh, we wanted to go and have a better life, have freedom, right? Because I was born in Iran, we had the war back then, so there's not a lot of freedom, right? So you could, you could have a lot of money, even if you had a lot of money, you couldn't do what you really wanted to do, right? Um, so for us to come here, um, it was a bit of a shock to the system, but I was only 10 years old. So as a 10-year-old... Um, I understood, but didn't understand. So I kind of adapted. I think you adapt to things, you know, your environment, right? Of course, yeah. So it doesn't matter what environment you're in, that's what you got to play with, right? So you adapt to it, right? Um, but man, growing up, like, I had a big chip on my shoulder because, you know, I didn't have my dad here growing up. It was just me, my mum and my sister. And I was the man of the house. So I never had a childhood. So I never had computer games. So I never had toys. I never had nothing. We didn't have no money, right? So for me, it was pretty tough. And... I dealt with things in my fist, right? I that's the way that I thought you can solve problems, you, you know. Grew up fast. Yeah, yeah, man, I grew up pretty fast, and you know, I didn't care how big the guy was or how many they were. Yeah. I just dealt with things in my fist, right? And I was a pretty angry kid, and I never got bashed, so I never learned, right? <laughs> no one ever gave me a good beating to put me back in my place <laughs> because I just had balls, right? Yeah. They go, like, "This guy's crazy," right? But as I grew up, man, as I grew up, I learned so much, you know. I was pretty, very, very blessed to meet my partner in life, my wife, yeah. So I met my wife at uni and she changed my life, right? She showed me what life's all about and she showed me about walking away from situations and being a bigger man and all that kind of things. And then once you have kids, again, it changes your life again, right? You realize that there's so much more important things in life than other bullshit, you know? Yeah. Your family, your kids, your wife and... Things that doesn't don't cost you any money. Basic things in life are the most beautiful and important things, right? But man, we all go on our journey. And you know, I think if I didn't go through my journey, I wouldn't be the person that I am today, right? Um, am I still happy with myself? Fuck no. I'm still far from perfect. I have a shitload of faults, right? Yeah. Uh, but that's what keeps me going, man, because I'm going to continue to improve as a human being, as a person. So what now? So what is what is what, what are you guys working on? Is there something that you guys are working on now? What is what is your plan? What is your dream? What do you guys want to do? Yeah, so you've, so you've done so well. You've done something like totally amazing to be where you are. So what's next from here? Um, we just want to like... All right, so like as in back then, we never believed in ourselves we never thought our story was good and like and i'm not saying we're the richest people but we nah, man. we have oh. a very relatable story oh. because we're just average people like like and we're still average now we oh, still wow. have our flaws you know like i have a stutter it's not as bad now but when i was young it was very bad <laughs> and that crippled me like especially yeah. with social interactions i would yeah. go speak to a doctor and be sweating and be thinking <laughs> Is he staring at my nose because it's big and wild? Or yeah. can he? Like, nah, yeah. Like, like no, no. But this is how I grew nah, up. Like, that's true, bro. I grew up like it's suffering, secure. and yeah. now I'm laid back about it. I don't care if someone's judging me. Like, like, as you know, I went through like ten years of that where I just now don't care. But I wish I had this attitude back then. You know, nah. like, but back then, no one taught me this stuff. Or I never try to learn about you know like and i think that's what the biggest th thing is because suffering is the worst thing possible it, if we can like learn to like mindset, shut out mindset like so true man like yeah yeah, yeah man mindset, you know, mindset's big 
Yeah. It is big, man. Like, because that's true pain. You know what it I mean? It is true. It is true. And, like, you know, like, for you to share that, and, like, I think we all go through our own struggles, but we, we actually don't know how to deal with it. Like, you know, one of the things that I found personally, I never thought about it, but I sit there and think about it because, you know, I was always on the go. Boom, 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 nonstop, yeah. right? I just wanted to do deals. Yeah. For me, it was about doing deals, making money, doing deals, closing deals, changing the cycle, boom, 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 non- nonstop, yeah? I'm like doing five things at once. For me, that was normal, right? But from someone looking from outside, they're like, oh man, that's not normal. Your stress levels must be high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, what stress levels, right? And I got to a stage in my life that I was having massive blowouts, man, right? And I think I was having those massive blowouts because I was actually depressed and stressed, but I never realized it. I never recognized it because I didn't even know what the symptoms were, right? Yeah, of course, of course. So for me to deal with it, I had to have these massive blowouts, man, right? Yeah. Man, I used to go out and blow 20, 30K a night and just have these massive blowouts. And like the next day I think, wow, what was that about? So right? like- was that your escape to do it? That was my escape, yeah. yeah. You go to a oh, club. And, therapy. Yeah, 100% therapy well. because I wanted to shut my brain and I wanted to just escape the real world. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want to be like a million miles away, boom, boom, boom. But what I was doing was going out, partying, staying up late, not looking after my health, yeah. you know, not doing the right things, right? But that was my escape, right? And, you know, what we mentioned before, which is really interesting, is that we all came from nothing, Right? And we get to a stage that you have certain things and nobody says no to you, right? And you don't have a father figure or a mentor that tells you, son, this is what you do, this is what you do. Yeah, yeah. So you're consumed by that. Yeah, 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 of course. No, no matter what anyone says, man. Yeah. Like we go, oh, why is Justin Bieber doing that? Oh, man, what would you do if you were like 22 yeah, years old and you had $100 million? How about you put yourself in his shoes before you judge him? I mean, what would you do? You ain't doing it because you can't do it. Right? If you could do it and you had no real guidance, what would you do, right? So you go through this stuff, man, and you know, and thank God you have people that love you enough that pull you in and give you the guidance that you need, you know what I mean? But if you don't have that, it could really turn really, really bad. And I, and I see a lot of young entrepreneurs these days, man, that are phenomenal guys, you know, man? Like, the days, like, it never existed. When I grew up, you couldn't be 22 and be a multi, multi-millionaire. I'm sorry, man. It wasn't around, right? There's like, Unless, there's like specific, like, guidelines. It was, know? man. But, like, yeah. there was no massive tech entrepreneurs, man, yeah, back then. Yeah, like, you had to go get a job, work 20 years, work, work your ass off, work your way up. The ranks, yeah. 100%. Yeah. What 22-year-old? Man, at 22, I was putting $5 petrol in my Sigma station wagon. Yeah. <laughs> I had no money, man. I was washing dishes in a coffee shop yeah. while I was at uni, right? I didn't have that technology, Instagram, all that. Yeah. I had none of those, those tools, right? Yeah. But that's all changed, right? So imagine a 22-year-old kid with all the money, right? But it still hasn't changed that much because a lot of kids are, like, influenced by their parents, right? Yeah. So, like, even us, like, growing up, our dad would tell us, got to go to uni, got yeah. to get a good job, yeah. start a family, yeah. you know, all that shit. Yeah. And then... Where's like he started the website, he's trying to start a website, he's trying yeah. to start a blog. Yeah. I'm trying to do my stuff, we're yeah. trying to do all this, you know, all this stuff online. And they yeah. see it, they're like, oh, he's just playing on his computer. <laughs> they don't know better. So they don't, yeah. yeah, they don't know what's yeah. going on. Like, like, we knew they loved us, but we knew we can't take their advice. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, they just wanted us to be safe. They didn't want us, they but, didn't but want it, to see us fail. But even now, even yeah. now, it's still the same. Our yeah. dad still doesn't know what we do fully. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, got yeah, an, he's got a he's got a he's got a smartphone. He still doesn't really know how it works. <laughs> that's so like, cool. And where like we make our money from the iPhone, yeah, from yeah. the smartphone. So, so in their head, they're like, "Oh, what are they doing?" And we don't really know. But they're, they're still like, happy. Yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. They because are. because you know you I think like and I realized this in the last few years, right? They're so proud of you, but they don't speak about it. Yeah, yeah. why? Yeah, yeah. That's it's an old walk thing, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't a, know what it is, man. Thing. Yeah, yeah. They, like, they tell all their friends about yeah, us. Yeah, but not to you. But never to us, they'll say, oh. And, oh, and that's what we amazing. want. We want yeah, the yeah, acceptance, know, you know? Yeah, yeah. So for me, I used to get, when I started doing things and it was in the paper and stuff, I used to get so much people say, hey, man, you're awesome. But my mum and dad never said that to me. So I never felt good enough. Whereas my sister, because she was very well educated, she was in pharmaceuticals, she was like, I was a black sheep of the family, right? Yeah. It took my dad to come to one of my Christmas parties and to the to see what I had created and who was around. He goes, oh, yeah, you've done okay. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> man. Like, Jesus, that's what it took. Yeah. You know, and then, so it's it's funny, but, you know, I think we are, whether we like it or not, 
we are a substance of the thing, you know, whatever you want to call it. Because yeah. of them, we are who we are. Yeah. Because we've learned certain things and certain traits from them, and we wouldn't have had that without them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But what I, you know, what I love about what you guys have done is that you've gone and done what you're passionate about, and you've broken that what do you call it, the nine to five thing that yeah. people have. Yeah. Like people race. are sheep, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We haven't worked in like what ten years, like. A but job. you have worked, but you haven't been worked because no, it's what you love about. Yeah, yeah, you're like, doing something you're passionate about. It doesn't about. feel like work. Yeah, because you love what yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Like we'll, we'll stay up all night to like four or five a.m. working, See? Yeah. sleep all day, uh, and uh, like if our mum knows that we're doing yeah. that, she'll be like, "What's going on? What are they doing? <laughs> like they're waking up at two p.m. Yeah. Like, but she doesn't know that been up all night on our laptops, on our phones, yeah. on our computers, like." <laughs> It's just like it's di- a different, it's different world. Yeah, different yeah. world. Like it's it, so true. It went from nine to they five to the five yeah. to nine. Yeah, it's like so true. Yeah. yeah, it's so true. Huh? But it's crazy, man. And I love it because you know what? Because you do what makes you happy. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. But but people don't do and that be- because true. they're scared. They're scared. They're scared. They're scared to be yeah. who they are. Yeah, yeah. They're scared to actually own who they are. But that's the most beautiful thing you can do because course, yeah. you're unique. Yep. There's no two of you, right? You're unique, but people are scared to be who they are because of people's judgments and what society tells you is right and wrong. Because society tells you that you have to go to high school, you have to go to university, yeah. you have to get a nine to five job, and you have to have kids, yeah. and you have to be married, yeah. and you have to do this, and you have to do that. And if you don't do that, hey, something's wrong with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. You're not normal, we're, man. We're both failures. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, he dropped out of uni. Yeah, I yeah. So did I, man. I dropped out of high school yeah. in year 10. Well, there you go. So I was like... And there was a big shame, and we felt yeah. bad for him, man. There like, you go. I didn't, I, didn't, I felt sad, I didn't because feel bad. all I <laughs> ever wanted to do was make my parents happy, because I knew yeah. what they did for me. Like, yeah. like you know, I grew up with hot water. I grew yeah. up with food on the table. Yeah. And now I learned to appreciate. That's why when they were sad when I dropped out of university, yeah. I'm like... Like, yeah. But that was good because that was the driving force to make it work. Spot on, like, man. Because you like, want to show them that like, I'm not a failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Spot like, on, man. Yeah. It's so true. And for me too, uh, when I got kicked out of uni and stuff, I felt like a massive failure. So that was yeah. one of the catalysts that pushed me to do well in what I was doing to prove to them that I'm not a failure. A lot of why we work so hard is because we want to like enjoy life. You know, like, obviously everyone wants to enjoy, everyone wants to go out. Hundred percent, man. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like we like traveling and stuff. Yeah. We want that. other people to travel, see the world. Like there's an entire world out there. That's like, so true. There's so many people that are stuck in one city. They don't get to see like the jobs holding them back from seeing other yeah. continents, other countries. Like if we could help someone get financially free, travel the world, spend more time with the family, like, you know, do things that they're not used to doing. Like, yeah. it changes their world. 100%, man. It, it gives them the mindset. tools. You're yeah. 100%. You know, that's so well said, man. Yeah. Because that gives them the tools to actually be able to do things that they're passionate about yeah. or get into things that they've never experienced before yeah. because they haven't had the tools. And, you know, for me, money is just a tool. Exactly, yeah. Right? People go, money's evil, money's this, one. No, no, no. Money's a tool. Now it's up to you how you use that money. Yeah, yeah you can use it for bad things. Or you can use it to invest in yourself and educate yourself because you're the number one person you should invest back into, right? To make yourself a better person, right? Yeah. Or you can help others. And the financial freedom that that yeah. brings, you're spotless. 100%, yeah. man. 100%, like, you know, what you were talking about before, like, I think the biggest thing that I've got out of her business is having my freedom to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. Yeah, yeah you were telling us the story before. That was pretty funny, man. Huh? It's true. <laughs> like, like how you said you would get bored or something and then yep. just fly to Vegas with friends. Yep. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Like, like, but that's not bad because you earned for that. Like, like you would have sweated to, to get to where to get to that place. Yeah. 100%, you know? man. 100%, you like, know. And people don't see that. Yeah, yeah of exactly, course, of course. Yeah. They don't see that. They don't see yeah. that, man. I used to do 20 hour days, man. Yeah. Like, I remember, I remember like my daughter's first birthday, I was answering help desk calls, right? And we were so small that nobody knew how small we were, right? So sometimes I had to put my hand on my mouth and to pretend to be a different employee when I was answering the help desk call, man. Oh, okay. So, like, right? I'll pass you on to this person. Yeah, man. And, you know, we can laugh about that. It's pretty funny now, but it's fucking daunting. It's a good, it was, t- it's a good tactic. Oh, bro, I had to because there's only two of us. Yeah, yeah. All right? There was only two of us, right? 
but we always delivered. Oh, so you were the support team as well. We were, we were support, we were stars, we were marketing, we were was, everything. Yeah, there was four of you. Yeah, there was four of us, two, right? Two times because two. they would have never dealt with us if they knew there was only two boys in the office half of this size. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? that's true. Okay, yeah. But, but man, we delivered. So the question I asked my business partner was, I said, mate, can we do what we say we're gonna do? 100%. If we can do what we promise, then who cares if there's 100 of us? Who cares how fancy yeah. is our office? Sure. Who cares what we do? It's not relevant. If you can't do it, then that's different. Then you don't do it, right? But people don't see all that hard work that's, that you that's guys. That's like us. Yeah, it's like us. Like people don't see that. It's just you're up. We're just two brothers. We just work from our laptops. People yeah. think we have a huge agency marketing department. Yeah. Like it's just us. We just build. I love it. We build networks. We, we have we VAs. Build teams yeah, of we have, like virtual assistants. I love it. You know, yeah. like. I love it. Like it's and all low cost. And yeah, yeah. It's I all love it. Yeah. And I love it, yeah. man. And people think that they're talking to like a big yeah. office. Of yeah. Yeah, no, 20 it's not, of it's us. Not. There's only two of us. Just but you wouldn't be out. successful if they were, probably. Because it was it wouldn't be you guys. Because you're the exactly, you're the yeah. you're the founders, you're the passion, you're the guys that drive this tool, yeah. this we're machine. The, the engine, that's you're the goes. engine man. Yeah. Without you two, right, yeah. it wouldn't be the same. Yeah. I can guarantee you that, right? Because the message gets lost. Yeah, of course, of course, man. No, for uh, sure, for to, sure. Like to us, we don't see a lot of the like we don't see a lot of the stuff we do is like that amazing because we're doing it every day. Every day. But sometimes we'll like stop and we'll be like, "Fuck, that's pretty amazing what we did." Like, uh, we'll grow the Instagram pages like fifteen thousand followers in a day. That's 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 in, nuts, like, man. Like twenty four hours, yeah, and like that's nuts. He doesn't really realize that. No, because we're it. desensitized. Yeah, we're like, desensitized. I get like, that, man. But I sometimes we'll stop. Or someone will tell us, fuck, man, how do you just do this? How do it's you the work? same as like as in like, and I'm sure you especially have experiences too. Like, you know, if we do a good day in sales, <laughs> yeah. like because we're so, we've done it for so long. Snowball. But uh, for us, what was a big exciting feeling was speaking in front of people. Love it. Like that was a new buzz. That was a new like yeah. our first event. We hired a penthouse in Dubai and just invited. Love like, it. We didn't charge and we, we brought in pizza. I like, <laughs> love it. Like we just wanted people to hear us. I know? love that. And like um, the thrill they gave us was just amazing. Like that validation. And I know it's bad how we're trying to seek validation, but it's not. You have to remember we came from being nobodies. We got rejected, especially from girls. A lot of them. I don't know about him, but for me, <laughs> for me, girls used to reject me all the time, and I felt I was unworthy. No, good enough. Like, 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 and that played on me. You know what I mean? Hundred percent, man. And like now, to get attention from people, it just feels like okay, you know, like just feels good. And I, and I'm only human. Like, I love that, Tony, you know? man. I love how you're honest about that, bro. Because I used to feel exactly the same way. You know, I had a lot of insecurities. I never used to feel good enough. And you know what? I don't care what anyone says, man. Everybody wants to feel special. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't care what yeah. anyone says, man, yeah. right? If you don't want to be feel special, why do you go to that special restaurant? Yeah. If you don't want to feel special, why do you have that special car? Everyone, if, wants, everyone wants to be like the rock star. Like hundred, their own life. Hundred yeah. percent, man. Yeah. But they're too scared they're to scared. do it. Yeah, yeah. Or they want to do it without the consequences. And I'll yeah, tell you yeah, something, yeah. my friend, there's Probably a consequence to every action, yeah. good or yeah. bad, right? Yeah, yeah. But I love, I love, I love the honesty you know, and the candidness here. Right? It is oh, so we don't cool. Care, man. Like, ten, we, that's why we used to like, gamble. We're honest. Oh, we used to gamble. I reckon gambling yeah. has, like, our mindset is a bit different. Yeah. Like, like in business, we're like, yeah. right, this is a bit of a gamble. Hundred percent. I get Take that. Take a chance, whatever. Take a chance. Yeah. What do you got to lose, man? That's why we're different to like most people. Most people yeah. are, like too scared to take a chance, whereas we're like, see it as fun. It's so <laughs> true. Yeah. It's, it's so fun. true. If yeah. I can share something with you guys, so what you said 100%, right? I want to say what you guys do is absolutely phenomenal, right? And I'm fucking blowing smoke up your ass because I don't need shit from you guys, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to say, hey, it is, right? It's fucking phenomenal. It's, mate, like, it's been a pleasure and it's been an honor to meet you boys, right? And it's been fantastic, you know? First time I met you boys, you know, it feels yeah. so natural, right? And I, I really want to thank you both for coming down. And thank you for sharing your knowledge and thank you for being so open and honest and not being afraid, you know, because this is what I want the show to be about. I want it to be raw. I want it to be real, you know. If anybody wants to get in touch with you boys, how do they get in touch? Through yeah. Yeah, Instagram? Yeah. 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 For Instagram. You can find us on our um, Simply Shredded page, which is at Simply Shredded or at e-commerce mental. Or Mick Foley. And yeah. Mick dot Foley. Yeah. There you go, man. Or at Sam Bashiri. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so please, guys, if you have any questions, you want to know anything, just reach out. You know, we're here to help, right? And that's what we want to do. God bless. And 
Listen to the podcast on iTunes, uh, wherever else it's at, Spotify, I keep forgetting that, Google, YouTube, and do me a favor. Whether you love it or hate it, just rate it. All right, God bless. Peace yeah, out. Done, man. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <Yeah. laughs>